Unlimited Blade Works is a film adaptation of the Unlimited Blade Works route in the Fate Stay Night visual novel created by Type Moon. In other words, it uses the same characters and the same setting as the anime series. However, instead of the story being focused on Saber and Shiro, it focuses more on Archer and Rin, and is almost completely different in what events unfold. This, of course, like Fate Stay Night, also resides in the Nasuverse. Visually, I have absolutely nothing negative to say. Studio Dean has really kicked it up a notch and has delivered a simply stunning movie to look at. Everything is vibrant and colorful, the animation is silky smooth and consistent with the art, especially during fight scenes where everything is going at extremely fast pace. The film also makes use of CGI, however it's brief and used tastefully. Like I just said, there's really nothing bad to say about this movie in terms of visuals. It is simply stunning to look at. Now, as of this review, Sentai Filmworks has yet to release an English dub of this movie, so I cannot comment on the English dub. I can only comment on the Japanese dub. The same voice actors from the anime series reprise their roles in this one, and there are no new characters introduced in Unlimited Blade Works either, so there's no new talent to speak of. The voice actors reprise their roles just fine and are of equal quality as their performances in the anime series itself. The music in this movie, much like the anime series, takes songs from the visual novel and remixes them wonderfully. The new songs used for the film itself are also of good quality and mesh well with the action. Again, not much to complain about in this department. The fight scenes in this movie are, in a word, epic. They're fast-paced without losing the audience in the action, and are well-directed. They're also imaginative and varied. If you've read the visual novel like I have, watching these fight scenes in action is admittedly a sight to behold. And that alone makes this movie worth watching, IF you've read the visual novel, which I'll explain in a bit. Now up until now, I haven't really said anything negative about this film but I don't want to give the impression that this is an entirely positive review, as it isn't. However, I'm not dishonest enough to not give credit where credit is due. Now, as I mentioned in my Fate Stay Night review, I love the visual novel, and I have read through the Unlimited Blade Works route. It took me about 30-something hours to finish. However, this movie lasts about 1 hour and 45 minutes. Do you see the problem? Trying to stuff that amount of story into two hours is insane, and it goes about as well as you would expect, which means not at all. Important revelations in the plot are lost, character justifications are unclear, and even simple things like understanding why the characters are in a certain location are completely lost on the viewer. In a word, this movie's plot is a clusterfuck. I'm not just saying that as an adaptation. But just as its own film, it doesn't work as the movie is completely incomprehensible to anyone who hasn't read the visual novel. Even if you've watched the anime, you will be scratching your head constantly throughout the film, wondering just what is happening and why. I don't even want to imagine what it's like for people who haven't watched the series, because at least those people have some concept of what's going on due to their familiarity with the characters and the setting. The story is supposed to be about Archer. It's supposed to explain who he is, why he's doing what he's doing, and ultimately seeing the conclusion of that. However, none of this is adequately explained in the film, and just leaves the viewers bewildered. This is especially a shame in this regard, because the Unlimited Blade Works route is truly an exceptional story. Because of this, I have to say, if you've only watched the anime, and if you haven't watched the anime at all, I highly advise not watching this movie, so it only serve to confuse you. I have to be perfectly honest here, there are only two types of people who this movie is for. One would be people who, like me, have read the visual novel and want to see incredible fight scenes we read about in motion. And the other kind of person is just someone who wants to see beautiful animation and cool fight scenes, because that's all this movie really offers. If you're truly invested in the characters of the anime series, and you want to know the full story behind Unlimited Blade Works, this movie's not going to do you any favors. Unlimited Blade Works is a mixed experience. On one hand, it's a technical spectacle of incredible art and animation, and jaw-droppingly awesome fight scenes, with great music and voice acting to boot. However, it 
fails so epically in telling its story. A story, by the way, that's a fantastic tale and should be experienced in its original form. It's just a shame that only readers of the visual novel will understand just what the hell is going on. Honestly, this movie should not have been a movie at all. It should have been another anime series, and it would have worked out much better. However, if all you want to do is see some awesome visuals and fight sequences, this movie's for you. But if all you've seen is the anime, I really can't recommend this movie. Instead, just please read the fantastic visual novel. This has been Shintai, chilling in the anime room. Peace out.